Morning everyone. Morning. <laughs> so today we've woken up early. I know, shock. We've woken up early and we've hired a taxi for the day. Luckily he's a tour guide and he's taken us around the Cameron Highlands and we're going to visit a couple of tea plantations and we've just stopped off here to take some photos and it's really quiet and he knows all like he grew up in the Cameron Highlands he was born and raised here so he knows where all the little secret spots are haven't had any breakfast this morning because we're going to be really naughty and have a cream tea for breakfast which we're super excited about hopefully it's not too expensive in the tea rooms Okay, so the boat is started. Okay, right now we are looking at almost 80 years old trees. Okay, wow. yeah? 80 years old trees. Huh? Okay, so <coughs> once before there used to be a forest, like that, and then they clear. Huh? Okay, so it used to be, and then they start planting. They are already been big, but they still, after every five to six years, they still prune it shorter. They cut it shorter because the tree leaves getting bigger and bigger. Right. So they have to prune it back again yeah. to make it bigger, uh, the new leaves to come out. Once they cut it shorter like that, they have to wait for three months to new leaves to come out. Yeah. After that, they can pick every 26 days again for another five years. Wow. And then they have to cut it back again, you know? So maintain as like a bonsai. Okay, so we have learned that originally the bow tea plantation, they bought the trees from Burma, the Burma to China, China to Malaysia. So, and then they started growing and he spoke about, it's actually owned by a Scottish family, which we didn't realize. And that they maintain the bushes at bush level because if it grows into trees, then they can't actually pick the leaves from it and use it as tea. So he showed us two types of bushes, like one that's growing quite fresh now so that it's ready for picking, and the other one that's just been picked. So it's a lot of darker green, and then the, the younger bushes are quite light. Also, uh, they make green tea and black tea. Yeah. Temperature I can't go over. Oh yeah, 22. 22 degrees. Yeah. Temperature can't go over 22 degrees for it to grow, and also it's picked every 15 to 26 days, and every five years it's trimmed back. Look at these.
going to um, It's really nice, really milky. What's this one? Matcha tea or coffee? Matcha, matcha green tea. Matcha green tea, is it? Yeah? Really nice. So cute! <laughs> what a nine puppies. Nine? Yeah. Wow! Oh. I'll take the Oh, very cute. <laughs> Bye, puppies! learned so far. It started in 1929 or 1926. It's Scottish owned. The plantation is massive. We're watching workers today. It's a Sunday today and they're working double time so that they get um, double time pay and they're chucking chalk on all of the bushes to kill the diseases, to kill the moss so it's keeping the bushes nice and healthy so he was saying that the wall it has to be they have to be on hills so the water it, it can't be flat so the water runs downhill because if the brush the bushes were in puddles of water all the time then it would just become rotten so that's why it's so hilly. And in the centre, you can see like little streams and stuff. And there are no bushes there. They just let the, that's where the water goes naturally. So it's created like a little path. So the taxi driver's dropped us off so we can walk around the roads of the plantation and kind of take all of the scenery in. We had a lovely breakfast. We had a cream tea and a cup of tea each. And we also bought a bit of lunch and that all came to 42 ringgit, which we didn't think was bad for breakfast, lunch and a cup of tea. So in the, in the uh, centre, you've got viewpoints that you can take photos. There was a coffee tasting section and tea tasting. And also there's like a little cinema that you can watch um, about the history of Bow Tea Plantation and also uh, you can have a little look around and obviously the cafes as well so nice nice things to do also we've just learned that they've got these they used to pick the tea leaves by hand and now there's like two people and they've got like this machine that's like 10 kilograms and they've got um it rests on top of the bushes and it glides over them cutting the the leaves and then there's like a blower that blows it into a bag. 
so the process is a lot quicker now and yeah in the tea plantation they've got um, accommodation for people who actually work here and it's just really cool really really cool to visit such a a beautiful place yeah this is the chalk here that the people have been throwing over the the moss and the and the bushes to try and kill the the bacteria